I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. The dark truth of NASA's outer space missions is a fascinating exploration into the less discussed aspects of NASA's journey during the Cold War. When the Soviet Union launched Sputnik in 1957, it wasn't just about putting the first artificial satellite into orbit. It was a clear signal that they were ahead in space technology, sparking fears in the US about being left behind. This event kicked off the intense space race, where both nations strive to showcase their technological might and ideological strength. NASA, formed in response to this challenge in 1958, found itself under immense pressure. The space race wasn't just about exploration, it was a high-stakes game of technological one-upmanship. When Yuri Gagarin orbited Earth in 1961, becoming the first human in space, it was a wake-up call for the US, emphasizing that they were trailing in this critical arena. In an effort to catch up and surpass Soviet achievements, NASA's approach to space exploration changed. They began pushing their projects at an unprecedented pace. This was most evident in the Apollo program, where the goal was not just ambitious but audacious, land a man on the moon and bring him back before the 1960s ended, a challenge put forth by President Kennedy. But this rush to achieve such lofty goals came with its downsides. Often the need for rapid progress meant that thorough testing and risk assessment took a back seat. The complexity of what they were trying to achieve, paired with the unknowns of human spaceflight, brought about significant risks. Sadly, this high-speed chase in space exploration led to some dark moments. The consequences of this approach became tragically clear with incidents like the Apollo 1 fire in 1967, where three astronauts lost their lives. It was a harsh reminder that in the pursuit of conquering space, safety and ethical considerations sometimes got sidelined. These incidents, while devastating, played a crucial role in shaping NASA's future path. They led to significant reforms in safety protocols and a shift in culture within the agency, emphasizing that the safety of astronauts should always be paramount. In exploring the dark truths of NASA's missions, we delve into a period where pushing boundaries was the norm, driven by the intense competition of the space race. When NASA set out to surpass the Soviet Union's space achievements, it wasn't just about scientific exploration, it was about national pride and global dominance. This high-stakes environment meant that every mission NASA undertook carried immense significance, not just nationally but on an international stage. In this rush to achieve, the focus on reaching milestones often overshadowed the importance of thorough risk assessment. It was a time when getting there first sometimes seemed more important than getting there safely. Space exploration back then was in its early stages, filled with unknowns. The development of new technologies and venturing into uncharted territories of space made it incredibly challenging to predict and manage potential risks. Decisions had to be made often with incomplete information, which led to underestimating the dangers involved. This was partly because the pressure to succeed was immense, and partly because the technology was so new that its full risks weren't always understood. Looking back, it's clear that some safety measures weren't as strong as they could have been if there had been more time for a more cautious and comprehensive approach. The public and political expectations at the time also played a significant role. The space race was more than just a scientific venture. It symbolized national superiority. Success in space meant technological and ideological victory, a concept deeply ingrained in the American public and political leaders. The media further amplified this, broadcasting space missions live and turning astronauts into national heroes. This public spotlight meant that each mission was scrutinized for more than its scientific achievements. It was a measure of the nation's standing in the world. Government support and funding, crucial for NASA's missions, hinged on the agency's ability to deliver results. Failures or delays weren't just setbacks in scientific exploration. They had the potential to affect future funding and political support. Moreover, the space race had global implications. The United States was demonstrating its capabilities not just to its citizens, but to the entire world. Embarking on a journey into space is one of the most awe-inspiring feats humanity has ever undertaken, but it's also incredibly challenging, both technically and in terms of human cost. At the heart of these challenges is the creation of life support systems that are crucial for survival in space.
These systems need to do everything from providing oxygen and water to managing carbon dioxide levels and maintaining a comfortable environment inside the spacecraft. It's a complex task, especially since everything has to be recycled and conserved within the closed environment of a spacecraft. Then there's the harsh reality of space itself. It's an environment completely inhospitable to human life, with the vacuum of space, extreme temperatures and dangerous radiation from the sun and cosmic rays. To protect astronauts, spacecraft and spacesuits need to be engineered with advanced materials to withstand these conditions, all while being lightweight and durable. Living in microgravity brings its own set of challenges. Astronauts face issues like muscle atrophy and bone density loss due to prolonged weightlessness. This means that spacecraft need to be equipped with special facilities to help astronauts stay healthy, and a lot of research goes into understanding and managing these health impacts. But sometimes, in the quest to push the boundaries of space exploration, safety can get overshadowed by the drive for technological advancement. This has been evident in some of NASA's most tragic moments, like the Challenger and Columbia disasters. Investigations into these incidents showed that warning signs were either missed or not taken seriously enough. It's a stark reminder of the consequences when safety isn't given the top priority it deserves. These tragedies did lead to significant changes at NASA, with a renewed focus on safety, more rigorous testing, enhanced safety protocols, and a shift in culture towards greater risk awareness came about as a result of these incidents. They've been crucial in reshaping how NASA balances the ambition of exploring space with the safety of its astronauts. Now for the dark truth about NASA, NASA's journey through space exploration is a story of not just incredible achievements, but also profound tragedies that have deeply influenced our understanding of space and its inherent risks. These incidents, while tragic, have been instrumental in advancing our knowledge and enhancing safety measures in space exploration. Take the Apollo 1 fire in 1967, for example. During a pre-flight test, a fire broke out in the command module, tragically claiming the lives of astronauts Virgil Gus Grissom, Ed White, and Roger B. Chaffee. It was a heart-wrenching moment, and the cause was traced to an electrical fault in the highly oxygenated atmosphere of the capsule. This disaster led to significant changes in spacecraft design, including using less flammable materials and changing the cabin atmosphere from pure oxygen to a mix of oxygen and nitrogen. They even redesigned the hatch for quicker exits. It was a stark reminder of the importance of rigorous safety checks and having escape and rescue capabilities. Then there was the Challenger disaster in 1986. The space shuttle broke apart just over a minute into its flight, resulting in the loss of all seven crew members. It was a moment that shook the world, not least because it included schoolteacher Krista McAuliffe. The investigation pointed to a failed O-ring seal in the solid rocket booster, exacerbated by cold temperatures. This tragedy highlighted the need to consider environmental factors in spacecraft design and operations and emphasized the importance of thorough decision-making and communication within NASA. More recently, in 2003, we had the Columbia disaster, the shuttle disintegrated upon re-entry into Earth's atmosphere, and again, all seven astronauts on board were lost. The cause was damage to the thermal protection system from a piece of foam insulation that broke off during launch. Columbia's loss underlined how even minor damages can have catastrophic consequences and led to improvements in inspection, maintenance, and in-flight repair capabilities. These incidents collectively led to a cultural shift within NASA towards a greater emphasis on safety. They fostered an environment where raising concerns is encouraged and where thorough testing and risk assessment are integral to mission planning. Technologically, they resulted in more robust spacecraft and improved safety protocols, enhancing our understanding of the space environment. On a broader scale, these tragedies have increased public awareness of the challenges and risks of space travel. They serve as somber reminders that space exploration, while filled with potential for discovery and advancement, comes with significant risks that must be carefully managed. In essence, these tragic incidents at NASA have been pivotal in enhancing our understanding of space and the dangers of space travel. The improvements in spacecraft design, operational procedures and safety protocols that followed have shaped the future of space exploration, ensuring that the sacrifices of those who lost their lives have not been in vain, but have contributed to a safer and more knowledgeable pursuit of space exploration.